Welcome, welcome everyone. Pretty excited uh, for this build slash strategy I have here today. It is a team greedy semi FF into the Basker ponies. They are not Basker ponies anymore, though. Basker uh, horse archers. They're really, really fun. Uh, yeah, and, and you'll just see it. It's it's a lot. They're, right. they're just so much fun to use. I absolutely love them. And uh, they're pretty crazy. They're actually really, really strong. A little tough to get going at 1v1, although I have won a, a couple of ranked 1v1s with them. Uh, but in team is where they're going to shine, I believe. So that's what I'm... That's the plan here. Let's do this. We're going to do a market start. Let's drop that there. Let's drop a house. Uh, behind our base, and get on wood. You get that, get on wood. So, let's see, okay, let's drop a market then. Uh, wood, yes, that's big. Let's grab this. Okay, so we're gonna get, let's see. We'll have three vills here. We'll go five vills on food. And then, let's get on coin. Actually, with that 90 wood treasure, we're going to be able to grab this pretty quickly. That's actually quite good. Okay, let's just keep this going here. And hunting dogs. So, greedy, pr fairly greedy age one. We're going to be going up with 17 bills. And this is the deck we're working with here, Team Bashker. So we're going to go Distributivism first, and then we'll go Economic Theory. Uh, age 1, that's going to be the plan. Age 2, we will go Spice Trade. Like I said, very greedy. Uh, hopefully we won't stay there long, and we'll go Age 3, ship the Bashker Rebellion card, then the Native Warriors card to make them cheaper, because they do count as a Native Warrior, even though with that card they cost pop. Uh, what this card does is it changes all your Cossacks into the Basker Horse Archers. And uh, it, it changes them into that and enables you to train them from the Native Embassy for one pop, but no build limit. So, they're, they're quite fun. What they are, I don't know if I explained this yet, what the Bashkar Horse Archers are, is they are a... They are a ranged cav that is good against all cav, not just heavy cav. Uh, so, they have multiply a 4.5 multiplier against all cav types. Uh, just the base cavalry, like, like tag, it has a multiplier against that. And then it has a 0.5 multiplier against, like, uh, light range cav. So it's it, it's really like a two. It basically it has like a two x multiplier against range cav and a four point five against heavy cav. You can think of it that way. About about like that. It's not quite that exact, but it's close enough. Uh, I'm actually gonna grab this. Getting those hunters from there would be quite strong because these horse archers cost wood and food. So uh, having any extra bills like that would be quite good. So, we'll just be getting that. We also have our Cav Combat cards, so our Team Comanchica. I know I said that wrong, and our Cavalry Combat, as well as Mortars and Artillery and Cav Train Time. Those are what we're going to be focusing on. Let's get six here on coin. Uh, ship Economic Theory. That's perfect. Let's grab this. Oh. But, as you can tell, this is the reason why this is hard to pull off in 1v1s is because this card doesn't give you anything straight away. Unless you already have a bunch of Cossacks trained, it doesn't give you anything, like, upon uh, shipping. So that's why it's hard to pull off in 1v1s. But, otherwise... But, in team games, you can do that, so that's why it's so strong. Oh, someone aged up quick the fabrics.
Wonder what kind of team we got here. We got a bunch of grumps or what? <clears throat> Drop a house here. So we're actually gonna have a very greedy age two, probably a bit longer than I would like to my age two to be. Uh, utilizing this. But I don't think it'll be bad. If we need, we can always just ship, like, cav train time or this thing. Actually, we could ship sawmills. Maybe we'll ship sawmills age 2 as well. There's more hunts back here, so let's actually go get these. Uh, get y'all on there. Nice. Like I said, we're gonna go super greedy, so... Let's get these guys coming out. So we'll grab this thing here. What is this guy so mad about? Calm it down, boy. Uh, we'll grab this as well. Back it up, and then we'll come back. 135 coin, not bad. Uh, let's go and drop another house. A church might have been a good play here as well. So first card, Spice Trade in this age. Get you on there. These guys are quite strong. They gather just as fast as villagers, but are way tankier and stuff. Or, uh, they have, like, range resist. As well as a better range attack. I really like the Royal Huntsman. Can actually, let's go and grab this. <coughs> Yeah, I think this will go well. Nah, bro, that is way forward. Yeah, let's keep this training, keep these training. Next, I'm gonna be able to drop a church here, so let's do that. <coughs> Man, sorry guys, my third is all messed up. I think we'll have a pretty good age up time here. Let's send these forward. We'll age up with the covered wagon. Because we really want that we really want those uh that that greed going, that boom. Let's grab this for get a bunch of y'all in there. We're gonna. I'm completely happy to play H3 for a while because there are a lot of cards I can send to upgrade and stuff. So I'm perfectly happy to to stay H3 for quite a while. Let's go ahead and drop the this thing early because this enables you to train him from that. So let's just go ahead and drop that early. <coughs> uh, it's actually we got a bit much on food. Let's get a couple of these guys on there. A couple more of these guys on wood as well. Red is hunting in my base. Let's go forward here. Keep these hurting. Drop this. That's down. We'll grab the log flume. Perfect. I'm fine having a bit extra on food because with aging up with the TC and stuff, uh, we need to keep up our TC production range or line of sight's big here. They have 13 range as a base. There's a lot of unique things about this unit that I, I, I can't wait to show. Let's see, what's this? Your villagers and fishing boats now gather small kind of round a coin while hunting and fishing. Let's actually grab that. Might not be worth it. Someone needs to do a thing on when that's worth getting, but I'm gonna get it. That'd be really good for, like, Lakota. 
Uh, we'll ship this TC forward. Let's get you up here. Bashka Rebellion. Grab that. Uh, let's get a couple more y'all in here. And let's actually drop two. Let's drop one more. <coughs> Shoot that in. So, I'm not going to train any right away because I really want this card. There's no reason, I don't think, to uh, spend a lot, bunch of resources when I can get them cheaper later. Circular Saw is also going to be really nice to get. Okay, rockets actually will pair really well with what I'm doing. So, yes, that will with what I'm. Uh, do I drop another TC? Let's drop one over here. Get out on wood. Grab circular saw. Are you ready? Oh, that's not in yet. So now they cost sixty-seven food, forty-one wood, and there are one pop. Oh, we don't have pop. Let's get you on there. Are you ready? No. Let's drop another house here. And here we go. So they have six range attack, but they have a one, uh, they have a one rate of fire. So that's why, that's the big part here is how fast they attack. So they actually have more like 18 if they were a goon. If they were like a standard goon with a three to fire, it was as if they had 18 range attack. But this way they don't, they have literally zero overkill. They are one pop, so they might not look like much, but I mean, this is only, they're only one pop right now. They're very fast for cav archers too. You also have 13 range. So there's a multiplier 4.5 against all cav, and then a 0.5 against light range cav. Okay, let's actually. Oh, need more pop. There we go. Keep that coming. This would have been a little bit better. If you want to go faster with this strategy, you can just, like, not do the whole uh, three TCs or whatever. Uh, but I like the, the little bit stronger boom. I like being able to just keep keep spamming them really easily. Let's grab food upgrade. Actually, let's grab circular saw here. They also have crazy siege. So see, they have nine siege here. But they actually have more than that, because it, the Siege is also a one rate of fire. So it's like they have, let's see, 9 times 3, what, 27? So they have like 27 Siege, which is really crazy for a for a one pop range cap. That's insane. Like, that, that is absolutely crazy. Attack now! Man, I'm getting so many. This gives so much like Age of Two, Age of Empires Two vibes. I mean, actually, I just realized they're pretty comparable to the Azaps in Siege, in, like, the, they're good against both, uh, you know, 
hand cab and range cab, they're actually very similar, which is kind of funny. Although, different different sides of one. One's range, the other's not. Let's get in here. We really want their uh, range upgrade at the arsenal. That's going to be something big. Let's get on there. They're slightly worse against cannons because they have a fairly low cannon multiplier. And let's ship that. Grab this thing. Uh, we can drop three more houses to, uh, three. And one thing when they made this unit available, I don't think they thought about the fact that Russia can get, uh, like, uh, 210 pop. So it's actually really good. Oh, let's back this up. So that's coming in. That'll be big. We have lots and lots of coin. Let's actually send a couple of y'all forward here. So we got 73 right now. Let's get you on there. Let's grab this. Let's grab both of these. I mean, we got 73. That's crazy. And they're actually at... Th so right now they have 30 siege. They're like... A, they're a one-pop range cab with 30 siege. That's crazy. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Let's grab... Hmm. I don't really need that, I don't think. Let's grab this and this. No, and this. We're at 88. That is massive. Let's go drop an arsenal. Pairing them with cannons is really good. So we have 15 range now. They do have that 20% hand attack resist, so that's pretty good. <clears throat> Let's grab this. Uh, let's go and drop a mill. 65 still. We've lost a lot, but we really, we took the brunt of that fight. Uh, let's actually go cab train time. We see, we lost a lot of units there, but basically we were the ones fighting or taking all the damage. So that's why. Uh... Sure, two Falks, why not? Okay, let's do that. Let's delete these. And let's go drop them up here. There's my stick. Yeah. Let's get you all on these hunts. Uh, we can get y'all on a mill. Let's get, upgrade this mill. Oh. Look at that, 71. 
Uh, we'll go unicorn mortars. Attack now. So we got cab. Once we age up here, we'll grab cab train time. Let's get on these sons. Falks forward. Uh, let's grab factory. Let's grab this thing. Get on the hunts. Grab this. Oh, I already got that. Apparently that goes up really quickly. So now we have nine with a one rate of fire, so 27 range damage right now. And we are full pop, full bills. Drop that. Okay, let's get all together here. Uh, let's siege this down. Other factory. Uh, let's get this. Let's grab this thing here. We are full pop, so there's that. Okay, ASAPs is a really bad choice here. Why are you building ASAPs? Like, I got, I got the anti-cav part covered. Really don't need ASAPs. No overkill. Uh, let's grab this. <clears throat> so we got pink building musk, green building musk, and bro other bro building Cossacks. <laughs> what is this? Uh, that's a lot of heavy cannons. Let's actually upgrade Dish Bed Boy. Uh, y'all can get on that. You can get on this. Let's up a jump. Uh, two of the cannons. Oh. Four guards, guards spawning. Okay, take. Let's 
Let's go six. <coughs> oh. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we got all that. We're going to NPR. I've actually never tried seeing what these guys are like. In I also just look how cool they look. They got like the wings, like the winged hussars do. Man, they, they just look great. Okay, bro's got some heavy cannons. Yes. No, 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 don't push, don't push, don't push. Don't push, don't push, don't push, don't push, don't push. Don't push. Oh my word, what are they doing? What are they doing? They're pushing. We need to not push right now. Not the right option. Okay, do we got the heavy cannons coming at least? Uh, let's see. Grab this, grab that. Uh, let's go with this. Let's actually set this to wood. So what are we at now? We're at 33 range attack on these guys. Yeah, 33 range attack on these guys. The siege is insane as well. That's partially what's really crazy here, is just how high the siege is. Need more cannon. Can you please set your like factories to cannons or something? Is that possible? Actually, we just need hand cav. That's really what we need is actually just like hand cav. Um, you wood. Thankfully, we've been the ones pressuring this whole time, so that's a good sign. Okay. Bro, autos, can you... <laughs> this is the- we're like all building anti-cav. We don't need to all build anti-cav. Uh... Autos, can you switch to... Teamwork, I think I've ever seen. Well, I mean, 
Where are the villas I sent to build that? Go build that. What? How do I have 80 here? These guys pack really tightly. So right now, what do we have? So we have 15 range, 33 range attack, because they have a 1 rate of fire. Uh, 33, let's say this, 33 times 4.5. So these guys are basically doing, I think, over 120 damage to Heavy Cav. 329 HP isn't great, but it's not bad. This, like I said, just one five. And unlike normal Cav Archers, they have a really good, like, animation for shooting. Okay, let's start upgrading Cossacks. Okay, we lost one there. Yeah, I'm out of coin. Okay, here's something we could do. We could just sneak around into his base. Let's do that. Sneak into the base. I mean, it's basically at this point, they're just letting us push them as much as we want. This, I feel like I didn't get to show how good these guys really are, because literally none of them were building cav. But like, if you have like proper teamwork and one of your teammates building hand cav, this you, this shines so much better. But watch this siege. Actually, here, watch this siege. Watch this siege. The factories. So we got 16 with a one rate of fire. Watch the siege. Like for a for a range cab, this is crazy good siege. Like you can do that with any other range cab. That is a lot of cannons. Bro is spamming. Oh, they destroyed my stuff.
Okay, well, Yellow's factories are down. Yeah, if you had, like, a proper teamwork, like I said, this would, you would really be able to see how much, how good these really are. Like, literally our teamwork was so bad, I was going anti-all-cab. He, Red was going anti-all-cab. This dude was building musketeers. And, for a time, Pink was also building musketeers. So definitely interesting. Inter interesting strats on our part. Eventually, though, we literally just won due to raids here. I feel like I it also didn't shine as well just because Inca. These guys are this guy's like when I've done this before, I go cannons in these. Both Inca, it's really hard to go cannons because of Harakas. Yeah, so it's just yellow left. GG. I want to see these kills. Military units killed. 610. Makes sense. 565 of those guys we built. Wowzers. Raised. Actually, you see here we also destroyed the most buildings. Resources. Most resources. Not high score, though. Red got high score. So what do y'all think, guys? Are they good? Are they good? They're really fun, that's for sure. Uh, and I, you know, I could have spammed these for a lot longer. I mean, they're very, very cheap. They look epic. They feel good. They. So what's three three hundred twenty nine? Let's actually compare this to another unit. So three hundred twenty nine HP. Let's look at like a musketeer. Where's a musketeer? Are there no more musketeers? Here's one. Okay, that's just age four. That's an age four musketeer. Uh, ASAP. So 294. Like, this unit is way worse than this unit. But, I mean, the siege is actually similar. So 16, I can do this real quick. Let's go 16 times 3. I could do this in my head. So 40 is each. So with these guys, one pop, they have 48 siege. And actually, let's, let's do also 11... 11 times 3, times 4.5, and they do 148 damage versus heavy cavalry if they had a rate of fire of 3. And it's actually better than other units having 148 damage, because there's, like, no overkill, because it's a 1 rate of fire. 15 range, better than the average goon. Well, it used to be nowadays, I guess it's not really. Uh, and actually, let's do point times point five. Oh, no, 148. 148.5 times 0.5. We're doing 74 damage against goons with these guys if they had a rate of fire of 3. Like, these guys are crazy. They're really good. Like I said, they, they didn't shine quite as well because of what our opponents were building and what my teammates were building. Or I, I, I probably should have switched to Cossacks or whatever. But they're really strong. Anything else we need to look at? Timeline? Let's go to military unit count. Wow, orange was up there. Uh, hmm. No, I guess that's it. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this, guys. Uh, go try them out. They're a lot of fun. Uh, definitely try to work them out in 1v1s, because they're definitely fun in 1v1s, although not as strong. Uh, but if, you, if someone figures out a good build for them, that's better than the one I've been doing. Uh, definitely send me it or something. I uh, would love love to see what y'all come up with with this unit. Uh, so, all that's it. I'll be seeing y'all.